Lena! I shall take charge of matters in the city. Find back Luke now. I remember her accent. <laughs> no time to explain. I already knew she was gonna... <laughs> Why you not bring me flour? The graver the matter, the less inclined you are to speak of it, even when it is plain for all to see, like what is happening to you. Lena, this time, there truly is no time. I know, my lord. Where matters otherwise, I believe you would even be willing to speak of your past if I pressed. Yet, I re remain afraid to do so. God, she's cool. Their relationship has been one that I've really learned to admire. Um, when at first, like, I, I did not realize how close they, they truly were. A afraid that what I might learn would make a stranger of you. Father and daughter? Yeah, totally. Totally. Forgive me. There's no time. Grandfather and granddaughter? Yeah. Adopted granddaughter. Perhaps few few words are in order. We need to get going. Perhaps a few words are in order. Lena! Do you remember the time you got lost in the tower? <laughs> when you were little? And I searched for you for hours on end? This is why my parents put a leash on me. I never got lost. They put a little harness with a rope on it. I would just... And the cake I baked for you on your 10th name day. The hideouts lump the good. The hideouts lump the good. People of the mean covered up with beautiful candles. Holy fucking shit, man. He's saying goodbye to his kid. Wait, was it not hideouts? Hideous. That makes way more sense. All these moments that we shared, all the feelings that accompanied them, they were as real as aught they came before. And nothing will ever change that. Will ever change what we mean to one another. If I have made you worry, then I beg your forgiveness. Heavens know that you deserve better. Through the darkest of times, you have kept faith with me. Standing tall as a proud daughter of the Crystarian. As an example to us all. I count myself blessed to have had you in my life. And I want you to know that. Stand tall. Why do you speak so? As if it was our last meeting. Truly, you have a knack for making people worry. Dude, he's dead. There's no way he survives. You don't- you do not get to monologue this long in this game and come back alive. We just got the answer to the old Schrodinger's cat boy. He dead. Besides, it is you who are an example to us all. You who have led us through countless trials. Oh my god, she just leaked. We're about to do a trial. And you who will lead us through countless trials to come. So, go on, my lord. Do what you must, but take care.
Oh god. Holy fuck, man. Wait, what? Fuck. This is actually happening. Wow. Dude, you saw Crystal Tower on PlayStation 3, but now you're seeing it on PlayStation 4. Look at this. Fuck, they used all the pixels on Crystal Tower. keep climbing. And none on the Exarch. I I really do think Raha is my favorite character in the game. Period. Ah! Oh fuck. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> oh, my shoulder. I love how even his clothes are turning into crystals, though. That's it's. Twas but a matter of time. Dude, his clothes look like Mitch Jones's blankets. I cannot keep up with you, nor will it avail us to make a stand here. You must go on without me. Find Elidibus and stop him. Worry not, my friend. Though I am no warrior, I have learned to hold my own over the years. When first we explored this tower, you and your fellow adventurers formed the van, while I was left to follow in your wake. Do you remember Kitten Graha? Like when we first went into CT? One fucking red eye, little baby cat, all excited and shit. Look at the legend he became. Suffice it to say, I was not best pleased with the arrangement. How I wished that I could join you. And now I have, here where it all began. I was right to trust in you, and the power of your legacy of your name, to let them guide my every deed. For Elidibus is my name, and my mission, guiding my every deed. Did you ever consider other paths? I did, but I chose not to walk them, thank the gods. Why ever would you ask me such a thing? Elidibus spoke in similar terms, you say? How curious. To answer your question, then, I made my choice for reasons which seemed obvious to me, but may not to any other. There were the expectations I placed upon myself before beginning my slumber, and the expectations of those who roused me. Chill, Tia. Of course, I had the choice to turn my back on a lot of it. But in the end, it was no choice at all. I cherish the time I spent with you and the others. What I wouldn't give to return to those halcyon days. Oh, 
Chasing ancient secrets, overcoming trial after trial with the aid of like-minded comrades. And what remarkable comrades they were. In such company, I felt as if I were a character in the epic tales that had stirred my heart as a boy, as if my dream had come true. It hadn't, of course, for I was no hero, neither then nor after. Though the world to which I awakened and the first were beset with myriad problems, I rarely knew how best to play my part. There was, however, one thing of which I was certain, that I could not bear to let those dear to me meet a tragic end. I'm afraid our time is up. Go! Rest assured, you haven't seen the last of me. I wouldn't dream of playing my trump card save in your presence. <laughs> what a fucking badass. Break! of a possible future. Dude, I wonder if the memories can, like, sway his mind at all. But he has so many memories inside of him that I think it's just another kind of, like, drop in the puddle. Worthless. All. Worthless as memories of the only past. Fated to fray and fade into oblivion. Leaving naught but a gaping void. The waking sands. Yes. That was the place. The place I first made myself known to you and yours. Minfilia first, right? Then you talk to Amelia and Minfilia first. You like shot a purple laser beam through her for no the reason. The seventh rejoining had left the realm listing dangerously towards darkness. And events were unfolding that threatened to push it over the brink. Thus did I approach you in my capacity as emissary, thinking that you would make a useful pawn. But I was wrong. And for my misstep did La Habrea and Emmet Selk pay the ultimate price, leaving me the last of the unsundered. My remaining brethren, fragmented as they are, cannot hope to see our mission to its end. It falls to me alone. Defeat is not an option. I will strike you down. I will resurrect Lord Zodiac, 
and I will bring back those who sacrifice themselves to call him forth. Though it take a thousand, thousand years, upon my honor as Elidibus, emissary of the Convocation of Fourteen, I will see this done. But know that his devotion is not without reason, even if he, he himself can no longer remember what that reason is. Dude, I feel like we should probably, we should probably swallow our memory crystal right now, too. I feel like it's time to just pop as many memory crystals as we can. You worry too much, Elidibus. This dedication to your duty verges on obsession. Oh my god. Remember, chat. I think we need to hit him hard so he realizes it's for his own good. What of it? I have my mission. God, that's so fucking sad, man. I am Elidibus, and it is my duty to steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. This I swore to, to someone. We spoke, and I swore. What? What did I... <laughs> <laughs> this pain, this torment, is nothing, no more than must be suffered to deliver the world from its doom, no more than any of you malformed creatures have known. Even should you lose all that is dear to you, even should it cost you your life, you bear the burden and fight on, kicking and screaming until your last breath is spent! Aye, it's true. We've lost much and more. Known unimaginable suffering, but through it all, we never, ever forgot what was dear to us. And that's what gave us the strength to carry on. Oh my god, my fucking eyes, man. You have no fight left to fight. I'll put an end to this. You have no fight left to fight. This poor fucking tortured soul. No. No. It will not end here. Champions from beyond the rift, heed my call. The time is come to deliver your brethren from darkness. My heart's sole desire is a world free of sorrow. Join with me now in hope and prayer for the salvation of all. in the end, then with my all shall I oppose you. As the avatar of those mortal heroes who fought unfalteringly in all their imperfections. No fucking as way! As the warrior of light incarnate. 
Come, warrior of darkness! Let us finish this! What? No way! Herein I commit the Chronicle of the Traveler, Shepherd to Stars in the Dark. Here we fucking go. This is what we've been waiting for for three months. Through the world is sundered and our souls set adrift. Where you walk, my dearest friend, fate shall surely follow. For yours is the 14th seat, the seat of Azim. Invocation of Eld, though not of Hydaelyn's making. What are you? Say my name. No, it matters not. You are the enemy, and you will fall. Even should it cost me everything, I will not forsake my duty. This is so fucking- this is so much at once! This is the song that Sokin wrote while he was in the hospital dealing with cancer. I never watched that FanFest video. I actually still haven't watched it. Because if I did, I wouldn't have understood. Like, I knew how important that video was to the community, and I, I, like, I knew how important it was, and I know, I, I, but I didn't really know Sokin's work yet, right? Because I hadn't played the game when everybody was telling me to watch it. After this, yeah, I, if you guys want. For my people. For my people. For pe our world, I will strike you down. This battle shall be our last. Yeah, you guys are right about 5.3. It's pretty sick. Oh shit, what the fuck? Yo, this guy's no joke. I misunderestimated this guy. What do these mean? Play button? Dude, holy shit, we already always beat this guy. Am I just bursting right now? People spreading out. Oh. No matter if you will not fall, then you will be banished instead. Rift, swallow you. Swallow me, Warrior of Light. Dude, the Warrior of Light shit was really fucking... Like, it's kind of cool how he... He almost looks like the, the end with the Omega shit, right? Because that was based off of that, that as well. Here, where we Asians have been forced to retreat. Time and... Wait, what? Struggle all you like. Should you break free, there is no way back. Dude, I feel like I'm Quinn! What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <gasps> oh, thank God. I still managed to do it. <laughs> Actual hard mode, man. <laughs> you clutch on the crystal of Zim to your breast, and you wish upon it with your heart. And so it ends in unceremonious silence. I'm an a well, Am I an Asia now?
You! It cannot be! Oh! Oh my god! We fucking Emmett soaked his ass! To me, warriors of light! How the fuck did Emmett- Salvation given for Mankind's first hero and his final hope! How did he save us? For victory, I render up my all! Your demise will be ours. Oh no, 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 he's, he's got limit break. He just did like 50 limit breaks, what the fuck, man? Ukop mechanics, man. You still stand. In the name of the light, ads? Oh my god, he sucked him in. My soul knows no surrender. My soul knows no surrender. Oh, grant me strength. Sorry, I'm practicing Dragoon for later. Sorry, I was thinking about maybe playing Dragoon. Clad in prayer, I am invincible! No! No, 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 no! Achieve nothing. I am immortal, yet I will never surrender. <sighs> Illidibus, so fixated were you on my memories of the future, Great, you failed bitch. to heed the lessons of the past. Your obsession blinded you to the true nature of this tower, this beacon of hope for mankind. Created to serve as a reservoir for the limitless energy of the heavens. To harness and bind the boundless. Not unlike white orosite. Oh my god, it's a giant Pokeball. Your ill-begotten power. Obtained by exploiting that which is best in us. I shall have it. Your soul and all! Master Ball, bitch. Dude, this whole patch has felt that good. This whole patch has felt as good as that looked. No, 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 no.
<laughs> that was a little on the nose. Yoshida son, that was a little bit on the nose. It was really good. It was really good, man. <laughs> me too. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> Ah, oh, you poor, poor loss. Dude, I feel so bad for a little bus, man. I know, in a weird way, I really fucking relate to that character. Do you guys feel that way as well? Like, it's so easy to get so focused on a goal or some aspect of your life and you're not even doing it for the reason that you thought you were doing it anymore. You're just doing it because it's who you think you are. <laughs> It's all of his friends, man. Yes. I would become him. I would save everyone. This, I believed. Yet still they cried out in rage and despair. Oh my god, he was a fucking kid. Divided over the fate of the star. A rare occurrence, always fleeting. But not this time. Not this time. <laughs> Reconciliation. Elizabeth. I was needed. I withdrew myself from Zodiac. For them. My people. My brothers. My friends. Stay strong. Keep the faith. At duty's end, we will meet again. We will. We will. The rains have ceased, and we have been graced with another beautiful day. But you are not here to see it. Wait, so they literally sacrificed a kid's fucking camera? Oh, sorry. I'm not at home. My leg's shaking. The desk is made of fucking shit. They let a kid get fucking sacrificed to the primal. I concede I may have overexerted myself. Oh, no. Come on, man. Steady now and listen. I told you before that I had a plan, and that when all is said and done, I would ask a favor of you. We have averted the eighth umbral calamity, found a way for everyone to return to the source, and last but not least, we have secured the future of all the people of Norvrand. We have won, my friend. So, I hope you'll forgive me this moment of selfishness, and while I wouldn't want you to feel obliged, Promise me you'll take me on your next adventure. A journey. Together. That's all I ask. Guys, just don't pay attention to Alinity and Miz. I promise your life will be much better if you do that. <laughs> If I were 
to tell you that this isn't the end. That we will meet again. Would you believe me? My friend, with you, my mind and memory shall travel to the ends of the world and beyond. But in this place shall my body stand immovable. May it serve as an undying promise, not only to those who look to me for leadership, but to any soul who has known despair that hope is everlasting. Can we put him in somebody else's body? There, the Exarch would remain. Oh guys, she's Inside gonna die too team. now! When the Scions were not released from his summoning spell, we proceeded with the plan to return them to the Source. The Warrior of Darkness, however, retained his ability to traverse the two worlds at will. And in time, the Crystal Tower became a symbol of his link to the First, and of hope. So, you reached out to Elidibus at, at the last. Or so you reached out to Elidibus at the last. And his heart was moved. I'm not sure I did the right thing. Perhaps you did. Perhaps you did not. None can say. But the important thing is this. Though violence proved unavoidable, you did at least come to understand your foe. You said that the Ancient came to your aid, but how is that possible? A gift from Emmet Selk. He knew of Elidibus' plight. Foreseeing his own death, he made provisions to bring Elidibus' suffering to an end, lest his friend be left to continue the struggle alone. Rich, will you show me his spirit vessel? I'm telling you, we should just put his spirit inside Elise.
Yes. Both his soul and his memory seem intact. Good. Will his body accept his soul? Will his essence blend proper essences blend properly? Will he awaken whole of mind? Any number of things could go awry. Yeah, this seems uh a little bit sketch. Imagine if I told you I was going to meld your soul with you when you were a five-year-old and see what happens. How do you think you would feel about that? Just like, you're going to come out like five. I don't know. That would actually, maybe that's, maybe it would be sick. Needless to say, once we leave, there is no guarantee that we can return. If anyone has unfinished business, now is the time to see to it. I must pay a visit to Slitherbell. Let us reconvene here, Annan. There remain some few matters that require mine attention in ill leg. May I leave Thancred in thy care, child? Um, I've been meaning to get some flowers from Enfilia. I thought you might help me choose them. And then we could go to Nabath Orang together. One last time. She can't come with. Dude, who does she have to hang out with? She has like no fucking friends here. A fine suggestion. Lean on. Do Eden? I, I do that after stream. Eden D's nuts. Pago, unfollow. If, if that was enough to do it, it was only a matter of time, brother. Have a nice night and a nice life. There he is. I was afraid he wandered off again. Oh, there's no need to worry. Hallrick's safe, and well, he's been showing good progress and likes to go walks as of late. Dude, I don't want to look at Hallrick's face. Please, do not make me look at Hallrick's face. This kid freaks me the fuck out. Though his steps usually bring him to this particular spot. Oh, God. Poor kid. Oh, he's actually in there now. Oh, I wasn't aware that he had family here. He doesn't. That's Tesseline. Her sword, that is. The time left to you is precious. Dude, he's actually talking. I'm glad we threw out that persimmon. That's right, Halric. That's exactly right. That's her last words? I didn't even realize. Why did somebody just say just a bit of mud butt? Why did you say that? I, I love the chais. The chais are truly... I, I love the chais so much. Please, Lady Chai, dry your eyes. The thought of never seeing oh. you again is more than my poor heart can bear. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't care. <laughs> He's like, you'll never be my boy. Oh, it's you. As you can see, Alphano has broken the news. <laughs> I liked the boy, but he wasn't my son. You guys are saying three. Okay. The chat gets what chat wants. You'll never let me forget it, will you? I'll have you know I completed the promised painting in the end. Be that as it may, there are times only words will suffice. Good boy.
On the day we ousted Lord Vawthry, when I revealed the truth of his tyranny and your complicity in his crimes, I did so with great trepidation. Not out of fear that you wouldn't listen, but that you might never recover. To awaken from a naive dream to so harsh a reality, I would have understood had you all surrendered to despair. Dude, Alfie's back to his old ways. Karma farming. R slash crystal praise. <laughs> but you didn't surrender. Far from it. You picked yourselves up and rose to the challenge. You can still come and go as you please, I believe. When we have good tidings to report, I may trouble you to be their bearer. Unless time dilation happens and then I'm not coming back, I'm not going to use 30 years of my life to deliver a fucking email for you, alright? I'm going to miss you, though. There may also be less than good tidings, in which event I hope I can trouble you for your counsel. Yeah, let, let, let's, let, uh, let's let my branch do it. I should be honored to provide it, Master Chai. Oh, Alpha, no. I know you aren't one to sit still, but do remember to take your ease from time to time. And no matter where you are, oh my God. remember that there are people here who are praying for your health and happiness. Our brave and gentle artist, you have our love, now and always. I'm going to tweet that picture a lot. In really weird situations. I think it's a great picture. And do you mind? Please take care. Oh my god, I bet Runar's gonna be such a bitch. Runar's gonna be like, Nya, nya, don't go, nya. I'll make you stew, nya, nya. <laughs> Dude, Runar, Runar's gonna cry like such a little baby, man. I just thought about it. I was like, who's next? We gotta go to Raktika? Oh my god, he's gonna be such a... Master Medoya! Don't leave me, nya. <laughs> Those birds have such sad eyes. Is that Ardbert's crystal? Wait, it's Ardbert, not Ardbart? So it is. It has changed, but I would know it anywhere. However, did you come by it? This bird, man. Then, even in death, his enemies found a way to profit from his sacrifice. Oh, it grieves me to think of his body being used for evil ends. But... Thanks to you, his honor is restored, and he may finally find peace. No words can express my gratitude. I will keep this crystal safe to the end of my days. Rest easy, my friend. You have earned it.
No way. Pardon? Hmm. <laughs> Very well. How can this be? Seto, my old friend. You've grown. Oh, oh, Artbert, how I've missed you. I'm sorry I couldn't keep you safe, or even console you. Had I only learned to speak sooner, I would have told you how much you meant to me. How much I cared. I knew. I always knew. But I'm happy to hear it nonetheless. Thank you, Seto. My partner in crime. I see. His journey continues. Then, I will not yet bid him rest. With you, he may look forward to many more adventures. It has been a while since last I flew. Perhaps I too will go on a little adventure? Ride the winds? Seek the horizon? Yes. I think perhaps I will. That seemed fucking you know. I'm still fucked up, man. I'm, I'm still fucked up, man. I guess this is when we got to Stormblood. When me and my ex girlfriend broke up, the dog was already. The dog that we had together was already in like a, a, a camp like a, uh, a training camp, so I hadn't seen him. And I just like, I'm never gonna get to see him again. I always wonder if he like, if he remembers me at all. That seems fucked up, man. I'm fucking pissed, man. <laughs> fucking mad, dude. Dude, fuck Square Enix, dude. <laughs> I fucking hate this stupid fucking game. I hate it! Oh, I don't even know if I can get flying. I hate, fucking, I hate to fucking walk. Get your fucking armor out of my face. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> I 
you gonna do, swim? <laughs> Fuck! Thou art returned. Tell me, how did Seto receive thine offering? I don't know, I don't remember. I wasn't going to pay anything. Remarkable. T'was fate that thou shouldst be the one to undertake this task, I think. As Ardbart liveth on in thee, so too shall he and his comrades live on in the hearts of the people of Norfolk. Master Matoya. For too long, I have remained silent, but no longer. I could not bear it if you were to leave. Please, stay. I beg of you. Rina, please. <laughs> Little moon. <laughs> I jest. At least in part. <laughs> what I came to say is this. <laughs> Last? <laughs> like, what? Dude? Thank you. Without your wisdom, your strength, and your kindness to guide us, our people would still be lost. <laughs> we will never forget you, Master Matoya. It was just a Wherever joke. your journeys may take you, <laughs> you will kidding. always be in our hearts. Will you marry me? No? Oh, I was kidding. Thank God you didn't say yes. There's just a goof. Just a goof. And you in mine. Remember that your people's journey, that our people's journey, is yet ongoing. Your lives will change, and so too will your dreams. Yet come what may, you need not forsake your time-honored traditions, nor less your beliefs. But neither should you be beholden to them. For it was with curiosity and courage that the Knights Blessed first triumphed over adversity. New knowledge and new wisdom are ever worthy of pursuit. She li he literally goes, I love you, and she goes, allow me to talk about your Bible. <laughs> Indeed they are. And so, until we return to the Sunless Sea, we shall endeavor to live our lives to the fullest. That is well. But however great your strides, there may yet come a day when the challenges you face cannot be surmounted alone. Well, he's gonna be- he's, he's gonna be alone. He's still got a plus one now that you fucking ditched his ass. <laughs> On such a day, 
<laughs> On such a day. You may call on me. I don't understand. Since a means to travel between worlds exists, you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. Oh, she's lying! She's going to Montreal! Oh, we're fine. She's she's just... Oh, she's just trying to get out of there. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, oh, man. I just got a new job. She likes me. And there remain so many mysteries here that want for solving. Oh, my God. Master Matoya! <laughs> Runa, really? Why are you smiling? You fucking cock. That's everyone, then. We've all said what we needed to. Even as we speak, Becklug undertaketh their final inspection of our spirit vessels. When thine own preparations for the journey are complete, thou art to present thyself in the ocular. Give me a happy ending, for fuck's sake. I want to thank you all, on behalf of the First. You, and Minfilia, and the Exarch. Without each and every one of you guiding us, fighting for us, we wouldn't be standing here now. There wouldn't even be a here. And no words can express our gratitude. We still have a lot to do, countless trials to overcome, but if it ever seems too much, I'll think of our time together. The happy moments, and the sad, I will remember it all, and it will give me the strength to carry on without you. Because you made me who I am. Minfilia. Reen. To honor these names and these memories, I will stand with all the people of this land and strive for a better tomorrow. Thancred, I believe the honor of responding should rightfully be thine. I know better than most how much you've grown, and I have every confidence you'll make your people proud. Go! 
gods know I'm proud of you. I always will be. You deserve all the happiness in the world, and more. Might we also say a few words? Sublina? Why, this is just about all of you. To see you off seemed the least we could do. You risked your all for us, fought for a realm not your own. Before you came, we had never known the beauty of the night sky. Or the joy of your company. Though it saddens us deeply, to bid you farewell, it has ever been our way to send off friends with a smile. Wherever your road should lead, we shall pray for your safety. And following your brave example, we shall continue to fight for the Crystarium. With or without us, you've always taken good care of this city. I don't doubt for a moment you'll continue to do so. I a more resilient people we have never known. As resilient and enduring as the tower that watches over you. To the last, we did not question the Exarch about his past. It is only now, when he can no longer tell us, that we believe we know the answer. We have heard what became of him, and what is about to be attempted. All will be well. Of this we are certain. How could it be otherwise, when every soul in the Crystarium is praying for it with all their heart? Aspiring writers taken out. And so, when our Lord awakens, I bid you give him a message. Tell him he needn't worry about us. That he need no longer hide who he truly is. That he should live his own life to the fullest. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And that if he should ever find himself reminiscing on the past with a smile, we shall be smiling with him. Will you tell him this? Thank you. Please look after him for us. I dare say we have all the good wishes we can carry. Let us be on our way.
break. I... I feel like we deserve a little bit of a happy ending. All right, then. Pray proceed as instructed, beginning with your memories. Can they leave out some of the sad parts? Do a little bit of it, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. These crystals aren't working, man. The first step is complete, and all appeareth to be in order. Well, that just leaves our souls, then. Do not put your soul in the wrong jar. I said the pigs in church and somebody goes, oh, so it's the same as Blizzard. <laughs> have received of both their memories and their souls dude okay i'm not trying to micromanage i am not trying to micromanage angelo right now but i feel like he shouldn't have done mass cast soul removal and soul placement i feel like it would have made more sense instead of using an aoe to do a targeted spell there is no way that we didn't just freaky friday everybody uri and is just gonna wake up and be like Pray thee, <laughs> lest I hereby entrust them to your care. They belong to you now. Just be sure to guard them well, yes? Yep. Guys, I'm going to come back in five minutes. I'll let you know if everybody's dead or not. Give me ten. This will work, won't it? Uh, with how our day's going, Reen? Prepare as we might. We cannot account for all possibilities. And it is in such circumstances that accidents are wont to occur. That's something you say at least a global before you fucking cast soul rend like like literally get like that's give us a heads up give us a heads up i won't stop praying until i know they're safe all right let's start praying all safely stowed away i do hope so um where all that remains then is to step into the mirror go now and safe travels should we maybe do it one at- Wait, why didn't we just try with one person? Why didn't we just go one at a time? We literally could have tried it first. What the fuck? Why are we- Why are we- do Why do we go all in? This is like a train wreck stream, except we don't have a fucking soul sponsor. Oh my god. Just a few potatoes running the whole goddamn world. I like how they synced it up for Stand Tall to, to ring out the second that they take a shot of Kryle and Tataru. 
100% of the time, it doesn't matter what race you pick, it will say stand tall the exact second it looks at the two Lalafells. Because if you're not playing a Lalafell, you literally are playing the game wrong and they want to remind you. All right, moment of truth. I disagree, that's why I just banned you. Lala fell or die! <laughs> okay, let's also ban the guy who said each toll his feet. I don't care if he's in my org. Ban him. You know, honestly, I'm fine with the Freaky Friday scenario as long as everybody w lives. Everybody lives, nobody gets hurt. Allons-y. feels like a sack of papotas, but otherwise, I have never felt better. Hey, I understand that feeling. <sighs> that said, I doubt any of us will be fit to travel for some while. May we leave the rest to you? There he is. The vessel beareth our comrade's blood. With it in thy possession, the way will surely open before thee. What? But you've only just got here! That's Alfie, right? They're all up. <laughs> they all lived. Tataru, might I trouble you to brew us all a pot of your special tea? Dude, guy, you, you just cleared 5.3. He's already trying oh, to clear tea. That's my kind of guy. An extra cup. That's why Alfie's my best friend. That's why Alfie's my best friend. We may require an extra cup. Let's see. Can we bring Graha? I, I guarantee you the extra cup is not for an animo. <laughs> she no longer drinks on the job. All right, let's see. Can we, can we get Graha? Yours is a long road, my friend, and it stretches onto places beyond imagining. Hardbert. With your every step, these grand adventures shall grow more distant and faint. And there may come a day when you forget the faces and voices of those you have met along the way. It's Graha's voice, okay. On that day, I bid you remember this. That no matter how far your journey may take you, you stand where you stand by virtue of the road you walked to get there. For in times of hardship, when you fear you cannot go on. The joy you have known. The pain you have felt. The prayers you have whispered and answered. 
They shall ever be your strength and your comfort. I didn't even think about how cool that would be with the blood actually opening the Algan gates. The gates. Throw wide the gates. This I hope. I believe. Here at memory's end. Some days later, it worked. Well, uh, I actually thought for a second that Graha turned into a Lalafel. It's like he really, three hundred years of memories, and he he decided to drink the Fantasia. <laughs> Finally, free. <laughs> Lollapil, man. <sighs> what is it, Alizé? Are you all right? Do you still feel under the weather? Physically, I couldn't be better. Thanks to Kryle's ministrations, I'm already looking forward to our next fight. Seriously, don't you have anything to say about that? Wait! No less impressive than our garments. You've outdone yourself, Tataru. Always, Tataru. She don't <laughs> miss. To give credit where it's due, I had help from a certain fiery pixie who visited me in my dreams. Aww. They gave me all the information I needed to get the details just right. Omnicraft for your weapons, meets. though, I needed a lot more help. Thankfully, our favorite heads of state were happy to place their finest craftsmen at my exclusive disposal. Oh, and speaking of the Alliance leaders, they all express their unreserved elation at your safe return and promise to come and see you in person as soon as they can. They really needn't have gone to such trouble, but we'll be keeping these gifts all the same. Do pass on our gratitude. What a chad, man. You don't miss. Tatru for all craft. She would steal the show. Auto I realize we haven't taken up new martial guy. arts, nor have I ever been one to set much store by appearances. But I can't help feeling a certain lack of, I don't know, personal development. Job change? <laughs> Reaper? Yeah, I quite you, understand, but as you observed, the others had the more pressing need. Rest assured, our turn will come. She literally just wants new clothes. She's me. I feel like Alizé is going to be Reaper. <sighs> If I she seems like a reaper man. Ether, I swear I will blink out of existence. I need a bite to eat. Disgusting bread, yum. Dude, I could go for some more for right now. A cup of tea, if you'll be so kind. And something sweet.
by Mistress Kryle's exhausted state. May I assume that the ward has been restored? Why haven't we seen Graha yet? Indeed. We succeeded in weaving it anew, albeit at a slightly diminished potency than when I had Becklug's assistance. It is no cause for concern, though. The tower is not easily reached, never mind breached. And even should some few succeed, their presence won't escape my notice. Excellent. Said duty thus discharged, thou art free to go wheresoever thy fancy taketh thee. Upon which note, hast thou perchance come to a decision? The offer remaineth open. Well, if you're certain that's what you... I, I, I mean if you think I... Welcome to the Scions, you filthy little cat! Welcome home, bitch! <sighs> right. I accept. Henceforth, I shall count myself a scion of the Seventh Dawn. Grahatia, at your service. Yes, dude! When I was a boy, many long years ago, I yearned to stand tall as the heroes of Eld. But, like a fool, Seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. Help! Somebody help! Fucking give me two minutes, man! Are you kidding me? Come on, bro! Jesus fucking... Hippogriffs! Hippogriffs on the rampage! A giant flock of them! Please, we need help! The bloody dying! Their intestines I are floating out of rampage the sky! Myself. Oh my god, you sick fuck, how was it? What? N now wait, just a... <laughs> the fucking intestines are falling out of the sky! Oh, alright. Here we go again. Oh shit, here we go again. Let's save the fucking world one more time. Oh, she made him the fucking cartridges. I will join the fray when I finished my tea. <laughs> Thus did the avatar of destruction descend and in her wake leave naught but tears and ash. Queen shit. <laughs> That's what she said every expansion. She's like, yeah, I'll join the MSQ once I finish my nap. <laughs> and then, one day, an all but forgotten dream from my youth stood before me. In the flesh. Stand tall, brother. Stand tall. Sure, thank you, man. Thank you for 400 gifted subs today, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you, man. So it was that a new adventure began. Best friend? Tony, thank you, man. <sighs> the memory of a dying world's end. Night after night. And I thought it but a tired old dream. I say, I knew that securing the palace would provide your radiance with depressingly little sport but that you should fall asleep out of boredom. Splendid. Truly splendid. 
And my own preparations, you will be pleased to hear, proceed apace. Oh, yes. They proceed very well indeed. Frighteningly so. And we owe it not least of all to this singularly useful body I chance to find. With the Populares now all but destroyed, it will be the simplest of tasks to discredit their groundless assertions that I met with a grisly end. And as the very much alive Lord of House Brutus, I have a vast fortune at my disposal. Ah, money! Money, money, the great motivator. There is simply no better way to move men and expedite plans than with its alluring glint, would you not agree? Did they make Bobby Cody the bad guy? But wait, were we not acquainted, you and I? Should our familiarity cause you distress, I beg okay. your forgiveness. No, no, no. I know, I know it's Acai Bull, but who's inside of him? <sighs> what did you say your name was? Oh, a dagger through my heart that my deepest desire should forever remain unfulfilled. To live unrecognized, to die forgotten. This is literally, <laughs> this is Miz walking around hoping people are gonna recognize him when we go out. So it goes. Whatever this flesh kit? may have been before, it yep. serves only as a vessel now. Who are you? And I, faithful Fan Daniel, labor only to advance my lord's ambition. Fan Daniel? Damn, Speaking Daniel! Which, with the palace in our hands, we may now proceed with the next phase of the plan. But how very odd. Despite all our havoc wreaking, old Elidibus did not deign to appear. Dare I hope? That the last of the unsundered is gone. <laughs> Imagine it, bound no more by the shackles of mouldering memories of damnable duty, free at last to live for the moment. Dude, he definitely found the right body. Your radiance. But give the word, and I shall go forth and prepare for you your hunting ground. Dude, assian has gone wild. Good thing I didn't search it, because I had that thought about searching it. I would have been spoiled. was a foul beast. Ferocious. Ravenous. Remorseless. Take off my ass, you bet. Do as you will. Have fun. <laughs> fucking nut job, man. Holy fucking hell. It has been too, too long, my friend. And insufferably dull in your absence. When you return to me, you will share everything. Every blow will be a story unto itself. Every triumph. Every kill. Rest assured, we shall have a fitting stage for our reunion. See you soon, bestie. Whoa! Oh, yes. Money? To 
To reprise that transcendent moment, I will set this world ablaze. And we shall dance before the pyre. That's a bigger waste of money than opening Pokemon cards on stream. What the fuck? The beast shall kindle the flames of the apocalypse. What? Into its domain shall the hero set forth for the final chapter in the tale of this star. Holy fuck. Holy fuck! Holy fucking hell! Dude! Ah, you're back. Hmm. Tell me, Rich. Do you think I was excessively familiar earlier? In my tone, in my mannerisms? I thought it better to be familiar than formal, if we are to be comrades. But, now I worry that I may have detracted from the gratitude and respect I harbor for everyone. Somebody give this hat, this cat, a fucking hug. Perhaps, we might consider it a nod to my regrettably less than humble beginnings. Yes, yes, that will do. Sigh. Being free to live as one pleases, not without its changes. In a way, it was easier when I had a mission that consumed my every waking moment. It provided me with a focus, a constant push in a singular direction. By the way, was casting spells always so draining? I had quite forgotten what it's like to do it without the tower. I've rarely felt so exhausted or hungry. Yet, if all I did was bend the bow, I would be of limited use to you and your adventurers. So, I shall preserve. Whoever I might have been before. Oh yeah, it, it was because he used to be, okay, he used to be a bard. Yeah, bow makes more sense. I was confused for a second. I am now a scion, and an inexperienced scion at that. A green initiate, eager to learn how best to contribute to the cause. That he might follow in the footsteps of his inspiration. He's now a trust companion. I can't believe they actually put this in the game. <laughs> well now, I have my suspicions as to what this is about, but would you be so good to confirm them for me? Hey, just as I thought, they went ahead with it after all. The artisans of the mean had come up with the proposal, you see. In celebration of the knight's return, they asked how I wished to be commemorated. On a coin? Or as an automata? Automaton, there we go. Neither, I replied, for all the good it did, they knew I would be embarrassed. It makes no difference what name they give it. Yet still, they did it. Little Exarch. A right stubborn lot they are, as befits the people of the Crystarium. They shall be fine without me. And Lena may rest assured, I do not worry for them. Nevertheless, I shall ever cease to pray for their happiness. No longer am I a leader of a nation. Whatever power and influence I may have wielded, I left behind as surely as I left my body. But everything I have ever felt and experienced, all these things and more, I have brought with me. You have brought for me. 
and I shall carry them close to my heart always unto the end of my days. I wonder if he misses having a giant crystal dick. Let's fucking party, man! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Thank you.